dude, something's on him. Something big is on him, bro. Something big. Dude, that's a big snook. That's a huge snook. What's up, guys? Today, we're doing a very simple trip, solo mission. It's uh, Super Bowl Sunday, and I don't have much time because we're having some family over for a barbecue. But I live really close to a really good section of the river. So for me to get out, to put my trailer on the car and get to the launch, launch the boat and get to the spot with mullet, because I have some really good mullet spots that are good year round, it literally takes half hour. It's almost as, as easy as me just like going on a land-based mission. So that's why you've probably seen me uh, fish this spot quite a bit. It's just so close. But today, catching mullet was a little harder. So we're about 45 minutes into the solo trip and I literally have like an hour, hour and a half to fish, but I'm crazy and I love what I do. I absolutely love coming out here. It keeps me sane and uh, I'm gonna try to get a big one for you guys because we have perfect tides. We're prefrontal. We have wind coming from the north. Like today's one of those days where the conditions are just absolutely perfect for something. And I've already seen tons of huge blowups, which I know for a fact are jack because the tide is ultra, ultra low. So I can see them skating through the water like freaking tuna which is why they have the nickname canal tuna but you know what i bet there's some big snook i saw a couple i spooked them i was gonna go artificial only but they're just when they're like this and they're fired up they can be really picky so i was like you know what let me take some time and just get a few mullet let me try with the mullet if that doesn't pan out let's go artificial sometimes guys artificial only works better you know you just never know what they're gonna bite and i've said this and i'll say it again and again and sound like a broken record i fish with what works i don't care what it is i never like to anchor when the trolling motor is still moving because it's so loud hopefully it doesn't make a loud noise let's see i got the most perfect one i've ever had guys look at this look at that guy right there solo trips are really hard because if they wrap structure or anything like that, I'm kind of screwed. Hopefully he lived from that. Just hit him straight on the wall. Sometimes that can just blunt force trauma and kill him. So let me make sure, oh, he's alive. He's fired up too. Perfect. We got an outgoing tide. We're at the end of the outgoing, so we might catch a tide switch, but dude, there's been some serious feeding going on out, out there. I hope I can make it happen for you guys. I persuaded my wife to get out of all household duties to come out here because I was like, I'm gonna get some content. It's gonna be a sick day. We're gonna find out. Oh, something's on him. Oh, I think he's already on. Oh man. That was so weird, dude. I see a fish right there. He definitely dumped it. Dude, there's a fish, a big fish right there. It's gotta be a snook by how slow and lethargic it's moving. Oh yeah, he's freaking, he's freaking. Come on, dude, eat it. They might be trying to go for bigger bait. I got some bigger mullet too. I might throw those because sometimes when it's prefrontal, they're just trying to eat for the next day or so. They're trying to load up. I've got some feeding going on behind me. Nothing that gets me excited enough to cast there. <laughs> There's definitely a huge fish over there. My mullet's dead though. Still a fresh one on. A little bit bigger. See if it fires him up. Like, look, this is a striped mullet. This is a uh, relatively small one. This is part of my hook, but I'm so strapped for time. I'm just gonna send it. 
but I hope for the best. So I do not have time to be tying knots and stuff today. He's already wigging. Dude, oh my God, oh my God. Dude, we're going over there. I'm not playing games today. That was a giant. Wherever he wants me. People are probably like, I can't believe there's a boater out here on Super Bowl Sunday. Feeding going on everywhere but where I am. This is one of those frustrating days. Go! Oh. Snuck! Nice snuck! Nice snuck! Nice snuck! Don't come off, baby! Don't come off. Nice snuff. Ah, it's not too big, but he still snuck up on it. Got it. Come on, don't come on. It's, 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 ooh. Jumping. Dude, they always get that last gear when they see the boat. Don't come off. Hook perfect. She's not coming off. Come here. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Lift the line. Oh. Freaking beautiful, dude. And the mullet is still alive. Look at that, dude. Let's see if I can hold her up for you guys. Man. Fin up for the viewers. Dude, they're still eating all over. Let's get this snook released. Come on. That's probably a lower slot. Or maybe a little under it. Here she goes. You guys think I can catch two with the same mullet? The mullet's bleeding like a mofo. Pretty frayed, but... Dude, that mullet is still thriving. I think I might be able to. I'm frayed. Dude, the amount of feeding going on over there, it looks like it's on rain bait, but we'll send it, we'll come back. Oh, he's freaking, he's freaking. See if we can get him chomped closer. Right here. So to me, those smaller snook have been on a rain bait bite because that wasn't a very big one. I thought it was bigger. And uh, if they're eating mullet again, dude, that's prefrontal because they're they're trying to load up. Like that thing went after a big mullet. Oh, he's freaking. He's at the surface. He's freaking. Two. Two for one. 
Oh, he's freaking. Look at him. Okay, he's up to sir. Big thump, big thump, big thump, big thump, big thump, big thump, big thump. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go to the wall. Yep, dude, he's he's getting he's definitely definitely something chase. I could see boils underneath him. It's a hundred percent a snook. You know how I know? Jack don't mess around like this. Jack would have swallowed it. Even a small jack would have tried to hammer it already. Snooks sometimes will swim around their bait, spook it into the right strike zone. They're way more methodical hunters. Jack are just brutes, dude. They see something, they're accurate, they're fast, they take it. It's getting too close to the boat. See if something follows it. Nothing followed it, so there's definitely something there. doing the right thing. I really should cut my line and retie because it's really frayed and I'm kind of being an idiot. Something's on him. Something big is on him, bro. Something big. Dude, that's a big snook. That's a huge snook. I knew it had been following him, dude. I gotta ease up, I gotta ease up. Dude, that is a huge... We're gonna leave the net for this one. Get out of here. I'm e I eased up a lot. I am so afraid. Oh, I feel that line rubbing, dude. Come on. Okay. She might be there. She might be there. I feel like a bass fish. We did it, boys. We did it alone, boys. Holy smokes. I have been after this fish for, for so long, guys. This guy has evaded me. Let's leave her in the water. Let's get the measuring tape out. That's a 40. Dude, that's a 40. Persistence, baby. Okay, measuring tape's out. Look at that thing, dude. Look at that thing. Oh my god, it's so heavy, bro. Ooh. We got her. Let's put her low on the deck so she doesn't get out. Bro, look at the head of this thing. Look at the head. It literally was barely hooked. And it got the mullet, bro. The mullet is inside. Okay. Let me just get one glove on. Okay, we got the glove on. Guys, this fish... It's gigantic. Oh my god. Dude, this thing is so big. That. Dude. Look at that, guys. Look at that snap, guys. Look at that thing. Look at it. Let's give her some water and show her again. Look at that thing. God, God almighty. Look at that snack. Look at that thing. Holy smokes. 
anytime you release a snook, you want to put their head in the water and move them head first. Head first. Look at that. She's ready. She's ready. She's biting my thumb. I like to try to grab the tail. She's off. She is off. Big bodacious beautiful girl. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. How badly afraid am I? I'm afraid, but I can still use this rod. This is my heaviest combo I brought. I gotta give a huge shout out to Bubba. You can use my code. I've partnered with them. Code Ben's10 to get anything, anything on their store for 10% off. And their stuff never goes on sale. Anything. This net was literally the best thing I've ever got. This thing just saved the day. Okay, now that I'm all recomposed, let's uh, let's put the phone away. Let's get another mullet. Let's do it all again. Dude, that thing ate the whole mullet. One bite. One bite. <laughs> Clearly looking for... Here we got this. That thing was so slow to get it. Drag is still really loose. There's a lot of finessing going on, guys. There was a lot of finessing going on to make that happen for you. Oh my god, dude. The hook slipped, bro. Dude, I had that thing. I saw the head weight. It was gigantic. I could totally land that thing. Well, guys, that is it. We are back at the launch boats on the trailer it's always fun doing that alone and today was freaking epic even though there was only two fish we only fished for two hours that's one fish per hour and there were some pretty good fish all right guys we are back home and i managed to get out there for just two to three hours and make it happen today was absolutely epic for me it's those days where you go on a mission in hopes that something great is going to happen and you're able to make it happen everything aligned and I'm really happy that I persuaded my wife that it was gonna be a good day to fish, and I'm really happy that I made it happen. She was super stoked for me. Off camera, I called her after I caught that huge snook, and she's like, that's freaking awesome. I'm glad she knew it was gonna be good. And yeah, man, it, it kills me that I had to come home, but uh, I'm not gonna no-show at my own barbecue, so I wanted to stay out so badly because I know that that sunset shoe was insane. And I also know that the waters were empty because it was Super Bowl Sunday, so nobody was really out there. But anyways, today was absolutely epic and I had a freaking amazing time catching that fish solo, particularly because it's more challenging. I felt like a freaking Bassmasters fisherman getting down on one knee and using my net. Huge shout out to Bubba, who I've been working with for those nets, man. That is the best net. It's right here. This is the net that did it. It's their largest net. It's carbon fiber, right? It's amazing. They've got this grip here and then the mesh is like rubber, but this thing is a super deep net. Everything on it structurally is like metal and they're not paying me for this or anything like that. I just, this net is just genuinely good and I've literally broke nets catching huge snook and huge jack in the backwater. So that net was a big player. I would have never landed that fish alone without that net. That thing wasn't hooked as well as I thought it was. So freaking awesome net. Uh, I do have a code for them. It's Ben's 10 if you want to get 10% off. It's not much, but hey, it's 10% off a $200, $250 net is quite a bit. So Ben's 10, that works for anything in the store, but they're freaking awesome. But anyways, you guys rock. Thank you for supporting the channel thus far. It's going to be a slow growth. If you guys know me from Instagram, you know that I have a very big platform there and I'm constantly pushing out shorter videos, but I wanted to get into more long form content and put out these epic days that I have. So today was one of those. I'm really happy with this. Guys, if you haven't already, please, please, please like and subscribe. It's free to subscribe and it really helps me continue to grow and build this channel. I'm trying to get to a point where I can go out there and pump out more and more and more content. 
Fortunately, with the Instagram, things have been growing super quickly and super well, so I wanna to try to replicate that here on YouTube, just being transparent with you, because ideally, I wanna to get to a place where I can travel more and fish more and put out content for you guys. We've had some epic days in Florida, some epic days in the Northeast, and there's a ton of other great fisheries that I'd like to visit one day. So thank you so much for the support. Until later, I'm signing out. Thank you so much. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.